Hi, this is Anil. In this video, I'll show you how to create a simple Jux WS web service and how to deploy that on Tomcat web server. For that, we need to do the following steps. First, we need to create the dynamic web project in Eclipse. Second, we need to copy the job files into the leaf folder. Third, we need to write web service classes using Jux WS annotations. Fourth, we need to write web.xml. In that, we need to configure web service servlet context listener and uh, web service servlet. The purpose of WS servlet context listener is it treats the configuration present in the sun and jux ws.xml. The purpose of WS servlet is uh, it takes a request from the client and uh, redirect the request to uh, web service implementation class and get the response and send it to the client. Uh, the uh, fifth, we need to write uh, sun and jux ws.xml. Uh, here we need to configure our uh, web service implementation class. The sixth, we need to generate the JAXP classes for input and output types uh, using wsgen command line utility. Seven, we need to copy the generated files into the Eclipse workspace. Eighth, we need to deploy the application on Tomcat server. I'll show you all these uh, steps one by one. First, we need to create a dynamic web project in Eclipse. Here, you can give Tomcat Web Service 1. Here, we need to select the target and time. I have already configured Apache Tomcat 6.0 here. So, select um, Tomcat 6.0. Click Next. Click Finish. Next, we need to copy jar files into the leaf folder. Here, I have already some jar files. Copy all these jar files into the folder. Next, we need to write uh, web service classes using Jux WS annotations. So, go to source and uh, create interface called Cal Web Service. We'll give package com.hcl.hanel and move that over this package. This contains only one method called add. It takes two parameters and return one parameter. And here we have to annotate with that web service annotation. Next, we need to create a class implementation class cal web service. I am here. Implement Cal Web Service. Here, left hand A plus B. Here, annotate with uh, Web Service annotation. Here, endpoint interface is com dot hcl dot and dot Cal Web Service. We can also give port name here you can give cal web service port and you can mention service name also here cal web service next we need to write app.xml we have already app.xml and I delete this one First, we need to create a uh, listener class. We need to configure the listener class. Listener class name. We'll, what is the listener class name? Here, WS servlet context. You have to give full name. Next, we need to configure the servlet. servlet name is cal web service and servlet class ws servlet copy and <coughs> we need to map the servlet to the url pattern here yeah, servlet name is cal web service and url pattern is 
same thing cal web service next we need to write sun and josh ws dot xml file it should be under webinar folder here i have some text i copy paste in this one here we can give any name and here implementation class is cal web service impl here I have IMP, so I give IMP and the URL pattern should be whatever we have given in the web.xml. So we have completed fifth step. Next, we need to generate JavaScript classes for input and output types using WSGen command line utility. Go to the navigator view and um, take the class files from the build folder here we have two class files copy the folder and put it into some directory and go to the command prompt here we need to execute ws gen command for this we need to give a class path here class path is current directory and we need to keep the generated java files and give the class name implemented web service class name Cal Web Service MPL here MP. It creates Jux WS folder in com.acl.anil folder. So We'll copy add.java, add response.java, and we'll go to Eclipse workspace. And here we'll create a package called com.scl.anil.jocks.ws. In this package, copy these two files. Now we have finished uh, creating jocks classes, and we have copied all generated classes in Eclipse workspace. Next, we need to deploy the application on Tomcat. To deploy application on Tomcat server, go to project, right click, click turn on server, click next, click finish. Now we have deployed our application on Tomcat server. If we give this URL pattern, we'll get digital file location. Here, our web service is active. If we click this link, we'll get the contents of digital file. That means we have successfully deployed our application on Tomcat server. Thanks for watching.